Hey everyone, welcome back to JavaScript Advanced Tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a new HTML element using JavaScript. In the previous video, we had learned how to access nodes using query selector and how to style them. Well, in this tutorial, we will understand how to create new nodes using JavaScript. So, let's get started. Till now, we had learned how to access nodes using document object, the advantage of using DOM in the JavaScript. Using JavaScript, you can create your own nodes explicitly. To create your new DOM element, you have create element method. Using this method, you can create your new node explicitly. This method only create a new node but it doesn't add it to the DOM. You will have to do that in the separate step. Now let's understand how to create a new node with JavaScript. For example, so here we will create two paragraphs with some demo text and then append this paragraph in the division tag. So in the dom.html file, we will first create a division tag with the class. So I will just say div class content, right? And just after that, in the main.js file, we will create two paragraph. So we'll just say let p1 is equal to document dot create element right so i will just call my create element method and in the parenthesis of this method i will specify my tag name which i wanted to create so here i wanted to create paragraph so i will just say p here right to create second paragraph i will just say let p2 is equal to document dot create element p right just after that I wanted to specify some demo text to this paragraph. So I will just use text contain property of the document object. So I will just say p1 dot text content is equal to. So I will just call text content property of the document object and specify some demo text to the first paragraph. Just after that, I will select my second paragraph. So I will say p2 dot text content is equal to and specify some demo text here also so i will just say second paragraph here so when you execute this this will not do anything because we haven't added this paragraph to the dom so to do that we have a paint child method to insert element in the dom a paint child method used to insert a node to the end of the list of the children of a specified parent nodes so whatever you wanted to insert in the DOM, you have to specify parent node first and using the parent node, you can append your child nodes. Now to append this paragraph in the division tag, you need to first select the division tag. So I will just say constant content is equal to and here I will first select the division using the class name. So I will say document dot query selector. And using the query selector, I will select the division tag. So I will just say dot content, right? So this statement will select the division tag. Just after that, I will just append the paragraph in the division tag. So I will just say content dot append child method. So I will just call append child method to add paragraph in the DOM element. So I will just say append child and in the parenthesis, I will specify my paragraph right so i will just say p1 here just after that i will append my second paragraph also so i will say content dot append child p2 right so using this method you can append your child in the division tag so when you execute this you will get your paragraph in the division tag right now suppose if you wanted to append this paragraph in the body then you can do that as well so I will just comment this second paragraph and here I will say document dot body dot append child and specify my second paragraph here. So this will append the second paragraph in the body section, right? You are not limited to create only paragraph in the DOM. You can create any HTML element using create element method. So it means DOM gives us full control of HTML elements. So what if you wanted to specify attribute to your HTML element? 
In that situation, you have set attribute method. Using this method, you can set value to the specified element. If the attribute value exists, then only value is updated. Otherwise, new attribute is added with the specified name and value. For example, if I just wanted to specify class attribute to the paragraph, then I will say p1 dot set attribute and in the parenthesis i will first specify name of the attribute so i will say class here and the value goes to the second parameter so i will say para1 here right so when you execute this you will see your class and your class name to the first paragraph right now if you just change the value then only the value is updated and the name of the attribute remains the same right if you can add the attribute to the element then you can remove attribute as well to remove attribute we have remove attribute method you can remove attribute value using attribute name like this so if you wanted to remove your class attribute from the first paragraph you will say p1 dot remove attribute and in the parenthesis just specify your attribute name here so i wanted to remove my class attribute so i will say class here right so when you execute this your attribute would remove basically there are lots of method in the javascript that you can use in proper circumstances right that's it i hope you understand this lecture i have asked a question in the comment answering that question will help you to understand this topic more easily that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial.